Well, joining me now is Curtis with the Greater Topeka Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here so early. <laughs> yeah, it's a delight to be here. Yeah. Well, hey, the Greater Topeka Partnership announced a new program called Chamber Blue with the Blue Cross Blue Shield. So tell us a little bit about that. We are very excited about this benefit that we'll be able to offer to our members. It's actually a, a great story. We've been collaborating with our partners at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas over the last several years along with local chambers of commerce across the state, I think we're up to 25 or 30 other chambers, to develop what's called an association health plan. Um, currently, if you are a small business, um, your ability to offer health coverage to your employees is pretty limited. Either you can't afford it at all or you're, you're out on the market buying health insurance and it's very expensive. This plan will enable the businesses who are members of all of those chambers, so thousands of companies across Kansas and tens of thousands of employees, to all come together as part of the same rating group. And as insurance works, uh, the more people you have, the more souls you are trying to cover with your insurance, mm -hmm. the, uh, the more likely it is that you will be able to achieve a, a, a lower rate. So the hope is that for those of our members who, who sign into Chamber Blue, they'll be able to turn around and, and extend health care coverage to their uh, employees and it'll be a win-win. And how can businesses sign up and learn more? Well, they, there are a couple of very important uh, time portals here. One of them is that uh, in order to ultimately be enrolled in this plan in Shawnee County, you need to be a member of the Greater Topeka Partnership. So okay. we are hopeful that those businesses who haven't joined and think this is a good benefit will sign up. The other point that, that can't be driven home enough is that in August, uh, Blue Cross will be administering a survey to those businesses who have shown interest to get a sense of who's at the table. Um, you have to have taken that survey in order to enroll the first year and take advantage of that terrific rate we hope is, is coming. So I would recommend any business who's interested uh, go to our website, topekapartnership.com and look for the membership tab and they'll be able to get more information there. Okay, now switching gears, the Kansas legislature is in session. So what legislation is the Greater Topeka Chamber paying closer attention to? Well, the early central drama in the, in the legislature from uh, the standpoint of the sorts of topics that we worry about, namely economic development, was the passage of that bill called APEX. It was a, a very large and somewhat complicated economic development incentive package that was necessitated by the possibility of attracting an enormous in new investment to Kansas in an entirely new industry sector. So we spent uh, quite a bit of time early on researching that and uh, advocating for that uh, program in hopes that Kansas would win this big fish. I mean, it's a $4 billion investment in Kansas and thousands of new jobs, et cetera. Uh, we have, you know, that passed and the negotiations are going on. We're waiting to hear how they turn out. Other issues that have our attention include a bill that um, is making its, its way through that, that would um, have to do with re-establishing a tax credit for businesses that expend money on research and development. Okay. Uh, we are moving into an era, especially here in the animal health corridor between Manhattan and Kansas City where we're expecting a lot of startup companies to be doing research and development and we we need the tax uh, you know policies in Kansas to keep up with that and facilitate uh, that kind of early work in you know high-tech businesses yeah. there is a uh, another project going on that has us quite enthused and it has legislative ramifications and that has to do with the possibility of bringing a really game-changing type of uh, aviation business to Topeka to take advantage of Forbes Field. Forbes Field is one of only three runways in all of Kansas where you can land a, a, a large jumbo jet. And uh, there is work being done to uh, try to uh, attract businesses or a business here that would 
be able to utilize Forbes Field for the purpose of retrofitting certain types of large aircraft. Yeah, definitely lots of good information there, Curtis. We are out of time. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And hey, to get more information about the Greater Topeka Chamber of Commerce, you can head to the website you see on your screen right now. That's topekapartnership.com slash Topeka Chamber.